Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my second video about course play. In this video we're going to talk about the basics of course play and we'll set up a demo of how to use transfer mode. If you missed the first video, there's a link in the description to my course play tutorial playlist. To get started, you'll need to download and install course play. This is done just like any other mod, and I'll include a link in the description to the course play website where the mod can be downloaded and a link to a quick video that will walk you through how to install mods. Once you have course play installed and your game open, to activate course play you must first be in the vehicle and then simply right click with your mouse. Once the HUD is open, all of the course play settings are controlled via the mouse. Once the HUD is active, the mouse is now used to interact with course play, meaning you cannot use the mouse to look around anymore. To deactivate the HUD, click the right mouse button again or click the X at the top right corner of the HUD. You'll notice that the HUD is divided into multiple tabs. As you mouse over them, the tab name is shown below as a tooltip. Some of these tabs will be disabled if the function is not pertinent for the vehicle that you are in. We'll now click on the Course Play Control tab, and we're going to set up our first example of a simplistic course play function, which is the transfer mode. To get started, we'll need to move our tractor into position and click the Start Course Recording button. You'll notice that this place is assigned with an arrow and an orange marker over the tractor. Once you see this, you can start driving your course. It's important with course play that the next two markers are in a relatively straight line. So until the third marker is placed, avoid making any sharp changes in direction. There's our second marker. And our third marker. Now we can begin our turn. We're just going to loop back around and stop a few meters away from our first point. Now that we've created our first course, we can have the tractor automatically drive back over this course to do this, we want to make sure that the transfer mode is selected, and then we want to tell the driver to start at the first waypoint. Now we just simply click Drive Course, and the tractor will begin driving its course. We can actually hop out, and at this point we can watch the tractor drive its course completely automated. You'll notice that when the tractor gets to this last point over here, it'll actually pick up the first waypoint and then continue driving the loop. Driving in a loop like this can be handy in certain instances. For example, if you need to compact a silo at the BGA, you can set up a course in a loop to drive over the silo if we want the driver to stop, we need to activate the stop at last point or next trigger option. This time, when the driver reaches the stop point, it'll come to a stop and provide a notification that it has reached the trigger or end point. At this point, we can either tell the driver to continue, which will cause it to keep driving the loop, or we can say stop driver. So that concludes the second video in my course play series. In the next video in this series, I'll cover saving and loading of courses and advanced transfer mode configuration options. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. This has been Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.